From five years old, a dog's risk of heart disease increases gradually. Sadly, most heart conditions cannot be cured or entirely prevented, which is why consistent veterinary checkups are so essential, as they allow for early diagnosis. In this Animal Life video, we try to bring awareness to the gravity of early diagnosis of heart diseases in dogs. By sharing the breeds of dog at the highest risk of heart disease and the most common symptoms which they experience. Mitral valve disease. Although there are multiple heart diseases and issues that can impact our dogs, mitral valve disease is the most common. Valves open and close to make sure blood flows through the heart in the correct direction. With mitral valve disease, the heart valves thicken. As this happens, the atria don't close hermetically, leading the blood to flow in the incorrect direction. This causes the heart to have to undergo greater effort to pump blood. Mitral valve disease can occur in all dogs, but those with weight less than 15 kilograms are more likely to be diagnosed with it. The breeds most at risk are Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Poodle, Yorkshire Terrier, Dachshund, Bichon Frise, Shih Tzu, Miniature Schnauzer, Pomeranian, Jack Russell, and Fox Terrier. Mixed breed dogs and crosses of these breeds may also be prone to experience this type of heart disease. Mitral valve disease advances through several phases, but it's typically asymptomatic until the final stage. Usually dogs don't display symptoms until the illness is very far progressed. At this stage, the dog will be said to be experiencing heart failure. To better the animal's quality of life, it's best to take them for regular veterinary checkups as this will give a higher chance of detecting it before it reaches the final phase. Dilated Cardiomyopathy This is another of the most prolific heart diseases in dogs. The walls of the heart stretch and enlarge, thereby causing the heart muscle to weaken and expand. When the muscle is damaged, blood is not sufficiently pumped through the body. This is a serious problem that can cause sudden death from tachycardia or leakage if not detected early. Both diseases are genetic, so they cannot be circumvented. In this situation, dogs that show a greater propensity to develop dilated cardiomyopathy are those of large and giant sizes. However, those of a smaller stature can also be impacted. Symptoms of heart disease. There are additional heart diseases from which our dogs can suffer, including tumors and hypertrophic heart disease. The two previously mentioned valvular and dilated are the most common. Unfortunately, heart disease is generally asymptomatic during the beginning phases. It's not until the disease has progressed further that we may identify symptoms in our dog. Symptoms include increased respiratory rate, shortness of breath, coughing, lethargy, trouble exercising or fainting, and early diagnosis is paramount. How is heart disease diagnosed? An early diagnosis will increase the life of the dog through delivery of proper medication. If the illness is only found when the symptoms appear, its advanced state means treatment options are reduced. To diagnose any heart problem, the vet will first listen to the dog's heart using a stethoscope. It's possible to pick up a murmur or abnormal sounds that could signal the presence of heart disease. In the case of mitral valve disease, extra tests will be required such as a chest x-ray or ultrasound of the heart. In the case of dilated cardiomyopathy, a blood test and an EKG may also be necessary. The importance of veterinary checkups is paramount as we have explained, a timely diagnosis is imperative to increasing the quality of life of dogs suffering from heart disease. With the right treatment, they can live for many years while keeping an active and contented lifestyle. Given that these illnesses rarely display symptoms during the starting phases, we must impress again the importance of regular veterinary checkups as this is the only way to detect them. Veterinarians suggest a yearly checkup from five years of age in small and medium-sized dogs and starting at four years old in large or giant-sized dogs. Bear in mind the first phase of mitral valve disease is proportionally long so the deterioration of the heart is slow and continues until it leads to heart failure. The further along the disease is picked up, the worse the damage will become. In regards to dilated cardiomyopathy, the disease advances very rapidly, so it's even more important to have veterinary checkups for this and many other potential health issues. Speak to your veterinary clinic about booking in regular appointments. 
If you have any experiences with heart disease in dogs, share your thoughts in the comments below. Like if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.